Boy, Edgewood neighbors don't take no for an answer. The obsessed neighbors around Edgewood High School, Edgewood College, are writing more letters to the editor opposed to Edgewood High School playing football on its own field, along with soccer and lacrosse and track and field. They don't want the lights and the noise and the traffic. We've talked about this. I saw another letter to the editor this morning saying Edgewood betrayed its agreement of 2014, its master plan, which Edgewood denies, saying that it allowed for amendments. They've gone out of their way to have the lights targeted only at the field, only on the property lines. The sound system targeted at the fans and not Monroe Street. And, of course, the traffic studies, it wouldn't be in peak time and so forth. But the neighbors just won't accept it. One person emailed me and said, Mr. Hank, you don't live across the street. You don't know anything about it. Until you live across the street, you shouldn't write about these topics. I simply said, too late. And another one today from an angry woman who said, I'm out of line and didn't like my comment about book clubs and scrabble parties at Edgewood. They just don't want the commotion. It's quality of life. Here's the deal. How come people near Monona Grove and La Follette and Middleton and Memorial who live near those fields and see those lights and hear those whistles and those bands, how come they don't complain? How come they're not on a crusade? Could it be that the Edgewood neighbors are concerned about naked self-interest? Could it be that the Edgewood neighbors are like the neighbors around Tacoma and Shorewood Hills when it plans have been floated for affordable housing in those neighborhoods and they go nuts? Isn't it true that most of the people who live near Edgewood are progressive, white progressives who are supposed to care about other people, people less fortunate? Now they don't care about the kids and their development as athletes and sports and all of that character-building stuff. They only care about themselves. What's wrong with this picture? These aren't right-wingers in Mississippi. These are Edgewood neighbors. These are good liberal Madisonians. What's going on here? Isn't it about the children? No, it's, it's about you, and that's too bad. Those are my two cents. My two minutes brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can redo your kitchen, your basement, your bathroom, your staircase. Make your home feel just like home. We'll talk about this and more next time on Two Minutes with Mitch.